Okay, now for the really big uh, conflict. Let's say you're ready to do this first test passing, and so you want to get all the tests from, from my repository and be able to succeed at doing the, this first test. I am not going to write your test for you, but I want to make sure that you can successfully pull this repository into your system uh, because uh, it's a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. The first problem, if I go to GitHub here, is, is that my files I inserted in my repository and your files are inserted in your repository. If we try to merge them together, uh, they seem like independent repositories. And GitHub is kind of designed for you started with one repository and you branched out from those repositories and you merge them back together. But in this case, my repository and your repository are not branched from each other. This is the beginning of mine. You can look at the beginning of yours and it is somewhere completely different. And as a result, when we try to combine the files that Rails created for me and the files that Rails created for you, uh, things will be conflictual when it created things differently. And it, certain, it, it just happened to create things differently because I used version 4.0 of Rails and you're using version 4.2 of, of Rails. So what we need to do first is tell uh, Git about our remote repository. So Git remote add and the name of the repository uh, and I'm gonna call it public and then I need the repository name so I'm gonna go up here real quick and go here I'm gonna go to the HTTP copy it go in here and paste it and I've already done that but you need to do that you could call this origin, you could call it uh, cost243, you can call it whatever you want. The key is you need to use this name right here. I'm going to use public because that's the publicly accessible thing. The next thing we need to do is we need to pull down the data from that repository. But we absolutely, absolutely do not want to do git pull because that will pull all of the content from my repository and try to stuff it into your repository and um, we'd like to do that a little bit more incrementally so we're just gonna do a fetch public and by doing that we're gonna grab all of the stuff that's on the remote repository and keep a copy of it now in our local repository uh, but we're if we do a get status here there haven't been any changes to the files because we just got those copies from GitHub and, and put them in our, our local repository. But we haven't changed the files themselves. They, they haven't changed. Now the next thing you might think that you want to do is you want to just merge in this. And so you could say git merge and that um, value. So if we copy that and paste that. I am not hitting return here because this will cause conflicts and will cause conflicts in, in big ways. So uh, don't do that quite yet. The first thing we need to do is tell Git how to combine our repositories together. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to, to here. This is a listing of all the different commits in my repository. And I'm going to go to the very first commit here, this initial commit and I'm going to click on that so I can get this commit ID right here. This is the very first commit in my repository. And this is um, really important that, that you understand this. I want you to do git merge dash s stands for strategy. And in your git tutorial, you've talked about two strategies, that being fast forward and recursive. Well, what we want to do is pick a third category uh, of merging and what we want to say is if there's any difference between the files in your repository and my repository we need to be able to automatically 
pick one of those differences. And since you want to keep using the more recent version of Rails, uh, and you don't want the older version of Rails, the files that have been installed in mine, to overwrite your newer version of the files, what you want to do is you want to pick the hours strategy, which says that pick the, the if there's any difference between two files, uh, and rather than combining those differences together, what we're going to do is we're just going to automatically pick the files that in, are in our local repository rather than the remote repository. And, and so that's the strategy we're going to use. And now I am going to paste this commit ID. Remember that is the commit ID from my very first commit. So my very first commit only includes the files that happened when I said Rails new worship together. And so these are just the automatically generated files for me by Rails. And so it's okay when you're grabbing in those particular files into your repository to pick your versions instead of my version. And so that's why we choose this ours strategy. And when we do that, there can't be any merge conflicts because we've told it that we're always going to pick one over the other. So um, up pops Nano, which is a, an editor, and I'm gonna uh, choose Control X right here to, to exit, and that merge worked. There were, was no problem. But we're not quite where we wanted to be. The assignment says that we want these changes. Th that's where the tests are. So now it's going to be a little bit easier to incorporate any updates that happened in my repository be between, if I go back here, between this point where I did an initial commit and this point right here happens to be the commit that this assignment points to you see 626b2e and 626b2e so this is the commit right here that you want to pull into your repository and so git can say oh here were the changes that went from this commit to this commit and then to this commit and to this and to this and this and so it'll be really easy for for git to say what changes now need to go into your repository if you want to grab in this uh, commit right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this commit ID. And this time I'm going to do a, a merge, normal merge strategy, let, let git choose the strategy. Uh, because now I don't want to overwrite files. If you have different files than me, then any updates that happen in my files are going to be lost. I do want to change your files with changes in my files. And if you are at this point in the, the video series and you run this git merge right now, you, I expect, so don't get scared by this, I expect you to see conflicts galore. Okay, There are conflicts in a number of these files. And, and so I have each of those files open in a separate um, tab with with nitrous here and what I'm going to do is go through them in a separate video uh, so that this one doesn't get too long and talk about how to merge these conflicts because my assumption is you don't understand yet what spec helper should look like or what the user spec exactly should look like and so forth so that is what the next video is going to do.